Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. The forest root domain is going to be the first domain in your forest. So when we installed our first domain controller, we made the domain ITDVDs.local, and that domain is your forest root domain. And it's a bit special compared to other domains you may add to your forest because it's actually going to contain your forest level administrative groups, particularly the enterprise admin and schema admin group. If I go down to my users OU here, you can see here's our schema admins and here's our enterprise admins. If I add another domain to this forest, that domain won't have these two groups in it. And these two groups are very, very powerful groups. If you're a member of the enterprise admins, that basically means you can do anything to any of the domains in the forest. And if you're a member of the schema admins, you actually have the ability to modify the schema. And that affects every domain in your forest. Also, your forest root domain is going to have your domain naming master and schema master operation master roles. And those are your forest wide operation master roles. And again, we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. But that's basically what makes your forest root domain special. And because it's special, if we are going to have multiple domains in our forest, if we know we are, and we're creating a brand new forest, we may want to create what's called an empty forest root or a dedicated forest root domain. And that's basically your first domain that you create. You leave it blank, basically, or the, at the default, where it only has your administrator account and your schema admins and all these other groups that are just built in. You don't add a bunch of users to this particular domain. And then you create either subdomains or other domains in this forest, and you add your users and your computers to those domains. And one of the reasons for this is because if you are a member of the domain admins group in the forest root domain, you can actually add yourself to the enterprise admins or schema admins group. So we don't have the ability to lock down these two groups as far as domain admins are concerned. But if we create another domain in the forest and make a user, a member, a domain admin of that particular domain, they don't have the ability to add themselves to the enterprise admins group and schema admins group because they're not a domain admin in the forest root domain. To show you what I mean, I've got a user here, Jim Jackson. I'm just going to double click on it. Jim Jackson is currently a member of the Domain Admins and Domain Users group. So right now, Jim Jackson could do pretty much anything he wants to the domain, but he doesn't have permissions to modify the schema, or he's not an enterprise admin, so he couldn't go and change other domains. But since this is the forest root domain, I'm going to go ahead and log in as Jim Jackson. Okay, you can see I'm logged in as Jim Jackson. And I'm just going to go ahead and add myself to enterprise admins and schema admins and click OK click OK again see that was successful so I successfully gave myself a lot of power and a lot of times this isn't what we want we want to lock this down a lot more and if we create that dedicated forest root domain we can do that also, if we have multiple domains in our environment, our forest root domain controllers need to be available if a user wants to log on to another uh, domain. So if we have a lot of cross-domain authentication going on, we may want to put domain controllers for this forest root domain in all of our sites. And if we have a dedicated forest root domain, it's a very, very small database. So there's pretty much no replication traffic. On the flip side, if we decided to put all of our users and computers in this forest root domain, it makes it much more difficult to put the domain controllers for this 
particular forest root domain in all of our sites if they're connected by somewhat slow WAN links. 